just wanted to say, just finished recording the video. It's a little bit rambly, but I wanted to kind of leave it unedited so that you can actually see the process of finding these search operator methods. This method is fantastic. It can be used for any niche. It can be used for anything. It just requires a little bit of tinkering, a little bit of uh, research on your own behalf. But I have given you the method to finding out how to do this for any website. These are my Redbubble stats. I started in November. All of this is organic and I'm actually really happy with my progress so far. Um, I haven't made that many sales, but for me, I haven't, I haven't uploaded that many designs. I think I've got about 20 designs in total. Uh, and if I'd spent a lot of my time uploading more designs, I would have made more sales, but I'm kind of not really interested in it so much anymore. I do have another red bubble, which I'm working on using only my search operator method, which you guys will see, will see pretty soon. Uh, if this helps you at all, guys, please just leave a like on this video. It doesn't take you very long and it will really, really help the algorithm. So this gets through to more people. This method does not become saturated. It's based on um, low competition. Uh, it can't become saturated, especially for something like Redbubble and Zazzle, because there is so there are so many search results. OK, so don't worry about it becoming saturated. Just hit, hit like, help me out. And yeah, enjoy the video. Hey guys, what is going on? Hamish here from Income Stream Surfers, and I am so excited for this video. This will be my masterpiece. This is what I'll be remembered for. Kind of joking, but uh, at the same time, kind of not. Um, I'm trying to revolutionize the uh, niche hunting game, uh, and this video is going to be about how to do niche hunting for any website, okay? The examples that I'm going to do are Redbubble, obviously, but I'll leave that till the end. Etsy, Amazon KDP, and also Amazon in general, uh, Teespring, Society6, Spreadshirt, TeePublic, Zazzle, and Printful. Okay, these are ones that I've been uh, requested, that people have requested. So, yeah, let's just get straight into it. First thing I'm going to do is show you how I work out the method. Okay, uh, so what I normally do, let's start with Etsy. I go on the website, I search for something. Okay. And I find out how the results are written. So, for example, this one is 23,889 results uh, with ads. I mean, the ads isn't really important. But if I copy this, okay, and then I do site uh, Redbubble, no, sorry, not Redbubble, um, Etsy, Etsy.com. So, first of all, site Etsy.com just to get started. And then I look at the URL and I see that it says search. So I type in slash search. Okay, there we go. Um, there we go. <clears throat> They're perfect. Niche results for you, guys. That's actually perfect. So a couple of... Oh, why did I click on that one? <laughs> of all the ones I could have clicked on. Happy name day. Seven results, guys. That's looking pretty strong. So a couple of things with uh, Etsy is they, they tend to add results to um, to vaguely similar things. Uh, I'm just going to keep going through a few of these just to see, yeah, 25 results. Yeah, this is working, guys. I'm going to stick this on, and that is Etsy done. That was a good challenge. I enjoyed that. So you can see how I find my uh, search operators. Let's move on to Amazon KDP. So the process is going to be the same. Uh, sorry, Amazon.com. doesn't really matter, but... Uh, let's go on a Kindle store and type in Bernie. Um, 1 to 16 of over 2,000 results. Uh, I need to find something that has low... Really? That has that many results? I mean, come on, Amazon. Like, I'm just... There we go. Okay, so this might be the way to do it. If you look, this is niche, very niche. So 13, although it might be difficult with Amazon's search. It seems like Amazon's search will return. I mean, like, how is that returned to this? doesn't make any sense. 
but we'll give this a go. So we'll get the operator again. So it will be site Amazon dot com and then there is an S, so slash S. Let's see what that comes up with. 2.3 million results. These are all, these should be, um, yep, good. These are what we're looking for. Um, in title Kindle. You can use this for anything, guys. Um, hang on. Does that have in title Kindle? No. How does it know that I'm looking in the Kindle store? Oh. Okay, I just saw it. It was question mark K. Get rid of in title Kindle. Um, maybe. Okay, these aren't Kindle results though, which is kind of annoying me. How do I make it so it only searches that URL? Okay, let's just try uh, what I was talking about. So. Um, 0 to 16 results for okay this that's it I've done it <laughs> nice okay guys this is KDP I'm pretty sure this is uh, done um, you want to be using the search operator that I just that you can see in the um, okay it's not perfect guys for some reason it's going to the Amazon, like why is that showing? Hmm. Oh, hang on, one, there is, oh no, sorry, wait, that's completely wrong. Let's get rid of the, that and put it there instead. Uh, is this working? These are not Kindle and it's showing more results. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, that's okay. This is a pretty good one for general searching, but okay, guys, I'll be back. I'm gonna try and perfect the Kindle method. Um, let's see what I can come up with. Okay, yeah, I, I just realized what I was doing wrong. Obviously, I haven't written um, in text here. Uh, that's still not working for some reason. The only problem is this isn't Kindle, and I don't know. I don't know why. This is Kindle. How do I make it Kindle though? Well, this should all be Kindle store. In URL, there's nothing in the URL that is suggesting that it's Kindle. So in text uh, and Kindle. Okay, interesting. That might have actually worked. Let's have a look at a few of these. Ah, uh, that's a specific author though. These are all specific authors. Eight fish. What is that? Yeah, that's an author as well. That doesn't mean to say that you can't uh, put the search term eight fish in and you know uh, appear. Hmm. Amazon has got some strange SEO. Hey, that's a. Uh, this is a really good one, guys. If you know, if you uh, speak Italian, yeah, that's a really good one, guys. I'll give you that one. Um. I think uh, we're getting close, it's just I need to remove the specific authors and I don't know how I would do that unless I had a list of all the authors on um, all of the authors on Amazon which obviously is not going to happen although I could remove uh, semicolons or colons sorry that's interesting. Once we were brothers. That's a search term in all. We're getting close, guys. I will continue to try and refine this for you to perfect it. Uh, I know that I'm getting close. I can feel it. Okay, so there is a problem with Amazon, but this one is the search operator is working pretty well. You can change this number to anything, I believe. Yeah, you can. 
Um, there's no distinction as far as I can see between um, when the search engine result page shows a writer and when it shows a search result going. I don't even know what Spreadshirt is. Okay, yeah, it looks like you can find designs. Good. That's two pop-ups in a few seconds. That's terrible. Please change that. Oh, come on. Show me some results, please. Oh, come on. Really? Yeah, it looks like, again, they're not going to show me results. This is getting kind of annoying. I'll check a few more just in case. Just go away with your pop-ups, man. Okay, so there is a page two. Maybe we can do something with that. Let me, um, I'll be back again. I'm going to play around with uh, Spreadshirt for a little bit. Okay, after a little bit of experimenting on uh, Spreadshirt, I came up with uh, the idea of doing this, page one of one. And it gives a few results, but I mean, it's nothing to write home about. I will leave this in the uh, description, of course, as usual. Uh, check out the description for all of the search operators, but yeah, not looking great, guys. You can probably, uh, if I don't know how popular Spreadshirt is, again, I, I haven't used Spreadshirt myself, but um, oh, it's not even working because it goes on to page three, so I don't know. I don't know why it's telling me that. The first ones I tried were working. Let me just go back. Hang on. Please stop with that pop up. Like, just stop. I know I'm in Italy, but like, you don't have to constantly remind me. So yeah, look, there's only one page on here. <clears throat> I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go off this, guys. Uh, spreadshirt doesn't seem to be working particularly well. Again, it doesn't have results, so it's hard for me. Uh, but I will leave uh, this one in the description. Let's go on to the next one. This is going to be the last one, guys, because I'm getting a little bit frustrated that I can't. Um, please have the number in. Yes. Okay, thank you. Right, so site is Zazzle uh, slash S. Zazzle.com slash S. Hang on, let me copy and paste that without the hello. There we go. Only 961 results. Why? Okay, let's let, hold the S. There we go. 4.6 million. Wow. Okay, uh, good. And then we're going to add um, in text uh, results 0 to 10. No, that's not working properly. Not sure why. Let's have a look. Have I done something wrong? Mm, no. The 15. How does that have less? It doesn't make any sense. It does only have 10 results, though. Um, I can't believe that there are that few things things though oh okay it's one of those ones where it's going to say that yeah how many results does it have now still only 100 10 results oh i've done it again sorry guys okay there we go uh it's it's still not that many why 10 results, 0 to 10 results. Oh, 10 doesn't work very well, that's why I think. There we go, right, 11 results, good. Is that working? 52 results, no idea why. Oh, I found 11, okay, that's why. Uh, in text, okay, 11's not going to work very well, so let's put 15. 16. 
just play around with it guys there we go 16 results that's a good one you need a number that is not commonly used as percentages or is not a phone model or whatever it might be a good one is actually one because it's not plural so one result no hang on one result it's not actually coming up annoyingly let's go back to uh, 13 is probably not used very often okay what number was I on 16 that was working well let's go back to 16 before I get angry why does he keep saying that yeah 16 results there we go and then obviously what you do is you go on SEM rush and you check the uh, check the searches every month but yeah this is uh, how you do it on Zazzle guys Thank thankfully this one actually works which I'm very happy with and I think I might end the video on uh, Redbubble because you know I've done Redbubble many times but I will just quickly show people just in case this is the first time they're watching the video Okay, I was pretty close actually. It's site revelable in URL shop minus people in text 020 in title. Um, anything. Think of something, please. Books. Book. And then if I click on here, for example, it will only give me 17 results and then I can check. Okay, that's Redbubble, guys. I've shown Redbubble so many times now. So what have we done? We've done Etsy which works pretty well. We've done Amazon, Kindle, and also General, which works pretty well as well. Um, Spreadshirt didn't work very well. Zazzle is just like Redbubble, and Redbubble is where I discovered this method anyway. So that is a bit of a longer video, guys, but I really hope that that shows people how to actually find these search operators for, for yourselves, for anything, any website. So if a new website uh, becomes popular, then you can use this method. You can use this method for anything, okay? You can use it for Amazon generally. So if I just go on Amazon.com and I type in uh, electric toothbrush, um, I can do my Amazon operator. So let's get my operator. Uh, go on Google get rid of in-text Kindle and instead put in title electric tooth not just electric generally so look electric hot pots one result I have no idea why why does that only have one result I'm sure there are more electric hot pots on Amazon <laughs> that's weird really electric hot pot Okay, it has 2,000 results. That's weird. Honestly, Amazon is kind of freaking me out. I, Amazon is really confusing, guys, honestly. I, I don't know how people even... <laughs> how do people even get around this stuff? It's really confusing, Amazon. But yeah, you can use it for Amazon generally. Um, yeah. Hope that helps, guys. I hope that video wasn't just me rambling for 30 minutes. But yeah, I will see you in the next one, and peace.